Confidence isn't walking into a room thinking that you're better than anyone. It's walking in knowing that you don't have to compare yourself to anyone. Comparing yourself to another person, that isn't even in your system. There's no thought of comparison. There is no competition with any other human. You are not above anyone. You are not below anyone. That's confidence. Do you have the courage to act outwardly on what you see inwardly? Or will you die a dreamer? Will you die on the verge and on the edge and in the land of coulda, woulda, and shoulda? I'm, I'm going to drop some on you. It takes courage to be successful. It is far easier not to be successful. Misery will always have company. Success breeds contempt. If you don't want to make waves, be mediocre. Be normal and fit in. This is my moment. My body. My mind. My struggle. My battle. Do you live with conviction? So it's the end of 2019. Whether it was an insight video, whether it was a phrasal verb video, whether it was a video on idioms, what were the particular three C's that I want you to remember for 2019 that will help you improve not only your life, but also your English? Number one, confidence. That basically means the belief in oneself that you can achieve your goals in life and in English. Courage. What does courage mean? Courage means bravery. Courage means to do something that frightens you. When you speak in front of a group that you don't necessarily know, when you learn a new vocabulary word, when you dare to speak in front of people that you don't know and that necessarily don't even support you, that is and takes courage. And the last C, Conviction, I gotta say that again, conviction. That means something that you are certain, a certainty, something that you know you are able to do. When you are learning English, you have to have conviction in spite of the naysayers, in spite of the haters. Conviction in the midst of trouble. Conviction in the midst of trouble or uncertainty. Having conviction. So with everything that Teacher Will has tried to do, I hope at this year, the end of 2019, you remember confidence, courage, and conviction. And I'd like to thank you, the learners, the extended family, for being part of this journey, for being part of you and I, we learn together. The best is yet to come. Thank you to each and every one of you. And in addition to that, thank you to every teacher that has offered their guidance and support. I have learned from you. So, it's the end of 2019. I thank you for being part of this journey. I ask that you continue to support me, and more importantly, if you believe in it, pray for me with confidence, courage and conviction if you like this video click on that subscribe button hit that bell notification why because 2020 is coming and you and i we learn together thank you